Hello, today is Christmas Eve, and I have a lesson about Christmas. Next month, I'm going to have a lesson about Chinese New Year, and from time to time, I will have lessons about different holidays. A good example, uh, Diwali in India during the month of November, we're going to talk about maybe uh different holidays, different festivals. I'll think of some. If you can think of one you'd like to see me uh, teach a class on, please put it in the comments below. And if you haven't done already, would you please subscribe to my channel? And that way uh, it keeps track of things for YouTube. And they let me stay here and teach class. Okay, just a moment. Here we go. We're going to start the lesson. And we have a lesson about Christmas, and you should be able to see it now. So why do you celebrate Christmas? Why do I celebrate Christmas? Why do we? Or do you even celebrate Christmas? But for those who celebrate Christmas, would you tell us uh, your comments below why you celebrate Christmas and how you celebrate Christmas? What do you do on Christmas? Does your family get together? Remember, teacher needs to talk slower. So I am trying to speak more slowly. Why do you celebrate Christmas? Why is Christmas celebrated? Okay, well, let's take a look. Yes. Presents, gifts. The children like to get presents on Christmas. So it's something to think about. What colors do we normally think of when we think of Christmas? Green and red are two very important colors for Christmas. What other colors can you think of? So we had green, G-R-E-E-N, and red, R-E-D, red. Hey, can you see green on this tree? Can you see red or colors that are similar to red? Just let me know. We have some vocabulary words. Christmas tree. Remember pronunciation. Christmas. Christmas carols. That's people singing. They come to your house. They're singing. They stand at your door and they sing Christmas songs. And they go from one house to another. And we call those Christmas carols. Those are songs that we sing about Christmas. Children want to see Santa Claus. He's a big man with a big beard and glasses and a red hat and a red, uh, he wears red. He wears a red suit and he normally has a black belt and he wears black boots. Santa Claus. And he delivers toys to children all around the world once a year. He uses his sleigh, and it is pulled by eight reindeer. Reindeer, that is a compound word that we're going to hear more about. Actually, it's not actually a rain, reindeer because then it would have to be spelled R-A-I-N-D-E-E-R. -E -E but we're going to talk about compound words in a lesson very soon. And that scene reminded me, are there more vocabulary words about Christmas? Ask your children. They may know. And who is this? This is Santa Claus. Santa Claus. And he's wearing glasses. He's dressed very warmly. 
And these are reindeer. Reindeer. They pull Santa's sleigh. And this was the only sleigh I could get a picture of. And that's kind of small, but it gives you an idea of what our sleigh looks like. Sleigh, S-L-E-I-G-H. Now, we get into the meaning of Christmas. For children, it's waiting for Santa to put under the tree. Now, there is a religious aspect to Christmas. For Christmas, for Christmas, Christians, it is the symbol of the birth of Jesus. And for that, there is another story about three wise men who came from the east following the North Star to Bethlehem looking for a baby that was in a manger. And that is a Christmas story that will be told many times in churches all around the world, especially here in the USA. So what do you think of when you hear the word Christmas? I think about my family. I think about children getting presents. I think about helping others. Would you put your comments, what you think, please put what you think in the comments below. All right, so what did we talk about today? We talked about the holiday Christmas and just shared some general thoughts. So if you would like to know more or Tell me what you would like me to teach about next time. Like I say, next month, we're going to have a lesson about uh, Chinese New Year because it's really fascinating and you'll really enjoy it. Well, it's time to say goodbye. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I'll see you again very soon.